Greetings, ladies and gents. Welcome to our uh, episode number three of our Java database driven application using JDBC. In our previous video, if you have not watched them, you need to watch them. It, we created or we implemented or set up our data access objects, which is a set of library classes which are responsible for accessing our database using uh, the mysql connector class in this episode we are going to implement the create functionality for the customer entity as well as the car entity let's get to it the first thing we need to do is open up our ui package where our uh, cars form is located and here we are now going to start putting in some code behind the first thing that we need to do is to define a private class or oh, not a private class not a private class it's a private uh, property uh, which is of type car which this will be our current car We will need this as a basis for when we are going to select a single car out of our uh, list of cars. And uh, if we are going to retrieve it later on and put it on our form. And this is also needed at this point, although we're just creating, we're not really retrieving yet. But we need this at this point because uh, the save uh, method that we are going to perform or we're going to write is going to base the actual action on the current car's availability if the current car is not null it is going to perform an update function while if it is null and then it will create which is in this case null it will create uh, it will implement a create function or an insert function so we start with a null value for our current car at this point we go back to design and uh, so we'll give uh, a new button it's a function let's check if yes we have the new btn and double click on it to open up the code code behind what this will do is simply set the current uh, car to null now why are we doing this we already set the current car to null within the declaration but somehow so why do we have to set up or, or assign null value to current car when we already did that in the declaration here well the thing is somewhere while the program is running this value will not will, will be assigned with an actual object that is when we do uh, retrieval when we click on one of the items in the list, when we uh, do the uh, perform the find function, which will pick up one uh, car in the database, and in that case, this will no longer be null. And so, every time we click on the new, we have to make sure that the current car is null. And that's why that's there. The other thing that this uh, will do is it's going to clear up the fields. You see, you see this these fields here all these things you have to clear this up so uh, the clearing of the fields may also be performed somewhere else so uh, to uh, to make it dry you know dry don't repeat yourself we are going to do that uh, clearing of the fields in a separate method so we do private void clear fields and what it will do is it's going to simply set the text values of all the fields into null. So we start with our make field. Uh, set text to null. And then uh, make, it's not make field, I think. It's actually make txt. So there you go. Make txt. And then uh, the next thing is the model txt. And next is 
Uh, what's next? The uh, color, the plate, and the year. Right? Alright. So, we simply call it here. Clear fields. Now, that is going to be the only function of the new button. Set it to null, set the current car to null, and clear the fields. Oh, by the way, we still have one more thing that it should do, and that is to uh, make the make text should grab the focus of the cursor. So say make texty dot grab focus. And then for our save, it's going to get all the data from here and save it into a new car uh, object and pass it on. That is what we are going to pass it on to our DAO. So, double click on that again. And here, we're going to create a new car object. And inside of here will be all our uh, properties for our car. So, we have the ID. Since this is a new car, or we assume this is a new car, we'll just give it a a uh, bogus ID of negative one. And then for our make, that's going to, to be taken from the make text. So we say make txt dot get text for the model, model txt dot get text, color txt dot get text as well. For our plate, we have plate txt dot get text. And for our year, it's going to be an integer that parse int of the year txt that get text. Okay. All right. And let's just uh, tidy up our code right here. There you go. So, again, the save button is going to be two ways. The same button will be clicked when you are updating or when you are creating. So, we have to make sure that we are, we know what we are doing. And the, the, the basis for, you know, the basis for us uh, deciding whether we create or we update is on the current car property. If this is null, then it is a new uh, car and therefore we are going to insert so that's our basis here so let me remove this for now let's have the if current car is equal to null if it's new then we are going to do that here and otherwise we're going to do something else so here we're going to have put a to do save for update and we'll get back with that but now, uh, if it is actually null, meaning it's a new uh, car, then we now can call on with our DAO, which is found in the DB package. We have our car DAO, remember that? It has a method called add that passes a car. And that car data is what is being used here to insert it into the database. So that's what we're going to use here. We say car DAO dot add and we pass in the C. Of course, remember also that this particular method throws an exception because it is possible that it's going to throw a, an SQL exception. So you have to put this inside of a try catch clause. Try there. And then catch an exception. And let's just uh, give it a very simple message box using the J option pane. And we'll have this as the parent window and model to be true. Or does it really need to be true in the model? Uh, yeah, it's the object is simply ex.getMessage, the object's message. And next is the title, 
let's just say an error and finally this is the type of the message box we are showing and it is a an error message okay but if it does not have an exception we were able to perform this action here that means we have successfully inserted a data we can also put here another message box this time the message says that a new car has been added to the record okay and this have a success title and this type of message is an information message okay so that's how you code for the save button of course we still have to code for the update we are just covering right now the create so let's try this out uh actually we cannot try it yeah right now i think oh let's try Now, I don't know if I have already started my database, but let's just try it out. Let's have Honda Civic color green. Is there a green Honda Civic? I don't know. <laughs> let's have the plate, and the year is nine, uh, 2015. And click on Save. And we do have a pro problem. Uh, yeah, communication error means... Uh, we have not started the, the database yet. So let me first pause the video and start the da database. All right, so I've started a database and let's try to click save again. And yeah, it says a new car has been added to the record. Now let's try and open, in, open up our database and see if we did have our new car, which was a Honda Civic Green. And so we open up mysql in the terminal so at the end of the record we do have honda civic with green with the year uh 2015. now uh one thing i forgot is uh supposedly when we click on save after we save we see the message and after we see the message this whole fields or form should have been blanked out so supposedly but you know we only have to add one line for that and that is after oops, after we displayed the message box all we have to do here is take clear fields just like that okay so that is it for car let's now do it do the same thing for customers so let me close this one up under customers form right here again same thing go to source create a customer this time uh, current is equal to null and then of course you have to import your customer and then on the new right here you simply say current is equal to null and clear fields let's create that clear fields uh, method and again this time we will be clearing out these guys here what's the name Oh, I haven't named this yet. So it should be L name txt. This one is F name txt. And so on. Address. And license number. Now let's go back to the source. So here we have L name txt that set text to null. Just copy this five times and we'll have F name here. This is for 
phone. What did I name that? Phone number TXT. <laughs> this one is for address and oh, what's the name of this? <laughs> it lacks one S. And this one was Lickno TXT. And of course, the L name TXT is going to grab the focus. All right. Now, let's move on to our save button. Double click on that. Let's have if current is equal to none then we do here this is for the insert otherwise we do the update now this is it to do we have to do that later on <clears throat> all right so here we create a customer and of course the data from our customer is a negative one for the id and then we get the l name text that get text for the last name then f name txt that get text for the uh, first name then just copy this we have the phone number for the phone number or are we on the phone number yeah last name first name then phone and then address address and this one is for like no txt for the license number and there's an error uh huh okay uh, there should be no more comma in there Next is, of course, we just call on our DAO. So, customer DAO dot add and we put there C. And, of course, we have to place this under a try catch. I should have just copied the other one just from the cars make it uh, faster right and here we're gonna also display the message and clear the fields same thing but our message here it says new customer has been added to the record and this one okay so let's try this out okay click on customers we have a customer let's have a customer here jacobs william james phone number 568 Dash nine six three dash eight five two, and address is somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow. License number G H ninety eight nine seven six eight nine. All right, click on save, and we have an error at line there. Of course, this error is an SQL error. And so we know where that is. It's in the DAO. Let's check our DAO code. Uh, customer DAO. This guy here. Let's check on it. Insert in the customers. L name, F name, of course. Oh, phone address, click no. Then space values. Oh, it lacks the closing parenthesis. There you go. All right, let's close this one up.
and rerun our program to the customers uh jacobs i don't know any jacobs william james address somewhere down there okay click on save and a new customer has been added to the record and click ok boom it clears out and let's check on our database let's say select asterisk from customers do we have jacobs williams james yeah we did all right so that is it for our video for this episode number three we're able to uh, implement the create functionality for both car and customer entities uh, see you again in the next video uh, by the way if you like uh, videos like this please subscribe and hit the notification bell button so that you'll be notified of new videos that i upload in this channel once again thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next episode